So here we go. My name is Douglas John Noble. That's my writer name anyway. Um, my friends just call me Doug. To be honest, the reason I did the name Douglas John Noble is because, well, I think it's, you know, it's my God-given name. My parents' given name, let's say. Um, but, you know, I think it's pretty strong. And <clears throat> to be honest, that was the only configuration of my name that wasn't taken <laughs> for the website domain name. Um, and I kind of wanted to keep that consistent throughout for, for all of my books. So, you know, when people see me on my book, they can easily Google that name and, uh, and I'll come up. Um, that being said, I do have a website. This is my first vlog. Everything is going to go on there. Um, I plan on doing these vlogs, video logs, uh, once a day um, for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to shoot for a year at this point and just kind of see what happens. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to edit any of these. I'm just kind of doing it, take it as it comes, take me as I am type of situation. Uh, the, basically, if I were to try to edit it, it would be something that I couldn't even do. I just have way too much going on. But I think that I can fit in, you know, 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes a day, depending on, uh, you know, the situation, where I'm at, what's going on. Um, and I want to put this out here for myself, I guess, and, you know, if anybody else finds it interesting as well. The main reason I'm doing it, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold, is because I just want to kind of put it out there. And to be completely honest, it freaks the shit out of me. Like, it scares, <laughs> it scares the hell out of me to uh, do something like this, really. So, I'm into doing things that scare the shit out of me that aren't really dangerous to me at all, you know? Um, <clears throat> I've heard that that's a good thing to do, and uh, I certainly feel that way, you know, as a self-published author, um, I think putting yourself out there is a scary thing, and uh, through this vlog, I kind of want to explore that a little bit, I'll do my best to maybe uh, bring up some topics that I think about during the day, or some things that I learn, I'm a constant learner, you know, Everything I do is a learning process. Um, everything I write, it's not because I'm super smart or any smarter than anybody else. It's just that I really, you know, like to learn, and what I do learn, I like to share with others. <clears throat> um, another reason, I guess, um, I came up with this little saying or quote or whatever a few years ago that I really like wanted to become at some point and it went something like an artist is someone who takes their life and makes it their living and the more I think about that and the older I get and the more things I think about I also think I would amend that now to maybe an artist is someone who takes the things that they love in life and make that their living and that's what I'm doing, you know, as a writer at this point. So I've basically got like four jobs. Um, <clears throat> as you can see here, I'm in my Falcon Rebel making outfit. And uh, most people have no idea what that is. So my dad, um, his name is David Noble. He hunts with birds prey, like puts the bird on his fist and... Um, you know, flies and catches animals, and we make bells that go on the bird so that if you lose sight of it, you can still hear it. And <clears throat> we sell those all over the country, all over the world. It's not a huge business by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, one person doing it part-time is a really all the work that, it, you know, it entails basically to to keep the business kind of afloat. I guess that's not fair. My dad also, you know, puts in quite a few hours after he works his 
full week as a machinist. Um, although my main gig is I'm a marketing consultant for a company who sells mobile field hospitals to VAs, public health departments, uh, things of that nature. That's my that's my real bread and butter. However, every single morning, at le well, okay, at least five days a week, <clears throat> and I should do every single morning. Some days I do, you know. Sometimes I take off on the weekend. Um, I get up and write. Well, first I get up and meditate. So the first thing I do every single morning that I write at 4:45, my alarm clock goes off and I hit the snooze button. And instead of going to snooze, I meditate for 10 minutes because that's the amount of time the snooze button is. So then as soon as, um, you know, the second alarm goes off, that's when I get up. I make a cup of coffee in the Keurig and, uh, and I sit down and write and I write for an hour straight and try not to look at any <clears throat> Facebook or emails or Twitter, anything. Um, I just try to crack it out and do one hour straight writing. And that has, in the last year, um, resulted in one novel finished. And it's this one right here. It's called Satori Sunset. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about that book at some point. It's a novel. I wrote that entire book just by getting up an hour earlier. So I started it December uh, 28th of 2014, and I just decided one day that I was gonna get up and I was gonna write every day. And I was gonna write for one hour. And <clears throat> just by doing that, I had my first draft finished by June 1st, and yeah. Uh, did the editing and all that crazy stuff and uh, here we are. <clears throat> I also have another book published. It's called Food for Pagans. I'm not uh, I'm not a pagan. I kind of like the title because you know I mean anyone not of a certain religion doesn't even matter what religion you know they're kind of a pagan and I'm you know fairly non-denominational person myself. I do do not count out the fact that, you know, there's something going on that we don't understand, that's for sure. But I wouldn't consider myself a religious person. I grew up Catholic, a little background on myself. Um, and when I was 16, I just decided that I couldn't hack it anymore. And uh, had a conversation with the priest and we got finished with a conversation. It was probably the most intense intellectual conversation I had had in my life to that point. And we finished the conversation and he basically said, Doug, you're going to have to find God on your own. And I think that was a, I think it was a wise thing on his part. I am grateful for it. And, uh, you know, in my own little way, I think I've been striving for that, you know, at least to some extent, in everything I do ever since then. But <clears throat> I think it's a personal journey for everyone, you know. Um, that being said, you know, I don't know what else I'm going to say in this one. Like I say, you know, I'm going to try to do five, ten minutes every day. Kind of take me as I am. I'm not going to do any editing. I'll try not to use any filler words and ims, ums, buts. But, uh, <laughs> I just did. I said but. But anyway, yeah, I look forward to keeping this going and, uh, check out my website, douglasjohnnoble.com. I am Dougie Noble on Twitter because, to be quite honest, when I got my Twitter handle. I, <clears throat> excuse me, Douglas John Noble was one character too many, and a lot of the other configurations were, um, were taken. My family always called me Dougie when I was young, so 
Dougie Noble it is. Find me on Twitter, Dougie Noble with a Y. Hit me up. Friend me. Send me a Facebook or send me a message. I kind of have it set up so that anybody can message me. I want to learn a little something from everybody. And I look forward to uh, keeping this going. Love ya. Bye.